So I have four things to talk about today. Basically, the first thing, I finally saw the 1958 Dracula film with Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. It's pretty good. I really liked it. Then, I had a crazy guy yell at me again. I think it's the same guy that yelled at me a couple months ago. Basically, I was running down the same street and he was... I heard some guy yelling, yelling in behind me, like, I saw what you did at that stop sign! Stop! It's like, you know, I can hear you getting quieter. So that means I'm going away, so you're probably stationary. You're probably crazy. And I don't stop for crazy. So I just didn't turn my head around and I just kept going. But I went right whenever I would have gone left. And so I just took like a little ride around the, the town a little bit. And came back like 10 minutes later. But it's like, fuck, do I really have to worry about people like that? I don't know. Crazy people. And then, thirdly... So the film I got the other day is actually really nice. This movie is The Assault on the Wayne, which I believe this is the complete, complete film. It stars Leonard Nimoy. It's a Cold, World, a Cold War film, so that's kind of cool. Death Watch. This is actually a Leonard Nimoy film from 1966. I'm that's actually pretty pretty young for him. So I have two Leonard Nimoy films, which is kind of cool. And I think I have the full film for this. And I believe that one's just about... Well, I haven't actually read anything about it on the internet. But judging by the film, it looks like somebody in a prison. And then, this one last reel, Things Unknown. I open this up, and it's a black and white film, but it's only one reel, so it's maybe like one hour long. Well, then I started going through it, and I saw it's an Outer Limits episode. A really good one, too. So I have an Outer Limits episode. Not bad for five bucks. I'll, de I'll definitely pay ten bucks for these. And the thing is, I, I left two films back at the, that store. They were in pretty bad shape and also kind of uninteresting. One is The Thief of Baghdad. I think that's a 1940 film. I've heard it's okay, but I might go back and get it for 10 bucks. And the other one was, it was just labeled My Friend Albert. But that one was in really bad condition. Like, the tape was the, the, the film was like getting all like ripply and shrinking on the outside of the reel. It's like, ugh, that's, that's terrible. That might, that might be like, um, the old explosive film. Whatever. But yeah, so now, so now I, I really, really want to wa watch these films. I could mail them back to Illinois, but I want to watch them now. So I, I might see if I get my own 16mm pro projector out here. It'd be kind of cool. But, I did order a new worm gear to fix my Bell & Howell 1535 projector that I have back in Illinois. That way, if I don't end up finding a projector here, next time I go back to Illinois, I'll probably ship one of, one of these cans back with me, or... Actually, you know what? I can just... Hmm, fuck. If I could find one of those really nice hexagonal film tins for like 35 millimeter film because of course this is a 35 millimeter tin just with two 16 millimeter reels inside of it so these should fit inside of one of those industrial crate things for holding film actually all three of these should and so yeah I could just maybe do that carry-on luggage I don't know I'll probably just ship it. Then I have a tracking number and all that stuff. That'll be so much easier. But yeah. If I find a projector before I go back to Illinois on vacation, I'll, I'll get it. And I'll, probably, and I'll probably start building my own little film collection out here. But if I don't, I'll, I'll just keep moving stuff to Illinois. That'll work. 
Although it would be kind of cool to have movie night out here. Especially if they're really nice, if I find some really nice films. Oh, and lastly, I would have to say that my laser hair removal on my face has been getting less sore. And it doesn't seem, seem like it's sore. It, just, it feels like I have razor burn all the time. But that's going away, so it's okay. It also seems like really dark. It's kind of harder to shave right now. I don't know. Oh well. It might just be because all the hair follicles are kind of a little bit inflamed a little bit. I don't know. Mm. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See ya!